The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Well, in the spirit of trying to learn new things, we're going to do something different here. Uh, my good friend, Tom Hugard, is uh, uh, going to be giving a seminar in London in a few weeks, or next week, I believe, but he's the one that uh, we did the seminar with, with, he and Dr. David Paul, who's a mathematician, and uh, I'm going to have Tom on. Uh, as my guest next week on Tuesday, on Wednesday, we're going to have Dr. Paul on, and we're going to try to show you some of the things that uh, Tom likes to do. Uh, I met Tom in in 2004. Uh, Bryce Gilmore was giving a seminar in Las Vegas. He had 36 people there, and he invited Mark Douglas and myself and a couple other people that uh, knew him quite well to go there. So there are about 45 people in the room, and uh, it started on a Friday morning, all day Friday, Saturday and Sunday, and the problem was uh, Bryce invited some of his Australian friends who lived in Los Angeles to come over and party. And it started at 6 o'clock in the morning, and they didn't get in till about 4.30 in the morning. So Bryce did not make the call uh, Friday morning. And about 20 minutes before the show, Rich Anderson came up to me and said, you know, Bryce is not going to be able to make it because they were a little under the weather. Must have been the flu, I think. Uh, anyway, they... Uh, uh, so I said, well, all right, I'll do something. And uh, no, it wasn't Foster's. It was more like Black Jack. <laughs> and so anyway, I, I, I got up there. The fortunate part was of the 30-some people, there were, there were probably oh, two-thirds of them that knew who I was, knew who I was and, and most of them had heard me before, which was actually good because then they didn't leave the room. But So I started and, you know, I said, all right, look, I said, we're just going to start trading here today and I'm going to try to show you some of the things that I do. And, uh, you know, this is the stuff that I learned from Bryce. And I did. I, I learned these, some of these, most of these one two sevens and seven eight sixes and the butterflies and all that. So I knew the three drive and the Gartleys, of course, I knew, but the butterflies and and the other patterns were a little different. So I, I owed him a great deal, and that, you know, I, and I liked the guy very much. My gosh, he lived at our house and uh, the trading house in uh, uh, California all the way through 1988 through uh, 94. He was there two or three months a year, sometimes more. Anyway, we went through the trading, and um, it, uh, it went really well that day. It was one of those days when the trading gods was, uh, they were, uh, you know, smiling on me, and so. I think we did about four trades, and and we had we did a tiny bit of research stuff, and so it went very very well. Finally, around noon, uh, when the day was almost over, Bryce came sauntering in, and he was uh, he was quite embarrassed, you know, and everybody laughed, and but we had a really good time, and it worked really good. Well, in that group was a man named. Tom Hugard. He was the point man for City Index in London. This was like CNBC. He was on CNBC in London every morning, uh, giving his uh, ideas of the market and stuff like that. And uh, he was very personable, really good uh, reporter and stuff. But he loved the markets, and so he uh, came over and, and uh, you know visited there. And he, he really enjoyed it so much that he he came. For he, instead of going back to London, he came to Tucson and spent a week with me down here. And since that time, we've been uh, very, very dear friends and traveled across the continent many times uh, and also all over the United States. Uh, Michael Spencer was uh, the player. Uh, Mr. Z, Michael Spencer, when uh, Tom left. Uh, he gave uh, he gave Tom something like one year's severance pay, and that's what allowed him to take the pressure off to become a full-time trader. I tried for two or three years to try to get Tom to be a full-time trader, but he just – you know, having a family and stuff, he just didn't quite want to take the take the nudge. But with the uh, city Index uh, selling out – or he was selling out, he uh, – 
he had to make a move, and so he did it. And of course, it ended up being the smartest thing that he ever did because now he is in the he is in the superstar status, folks. I'll I'll explain to you some of the things that uh, I've seen the development of this young man over the years. In 2007, when the market started down, uh, it, the top was in October the 7th of 2007, and the market started down, and it was around um, November of that year when it really started to accelerate to the downside. And Tom and I were on Skype all night long uh, trading uh, breakouts, you know, to the downside. And uh, it was, uh, it was well, when market's going down, it's easy to trade breakouts. But anyway, that's what happened. And then he, uh, he's he been doing a lot of different things. He, he really shares his information, boy. It's really uh, – it's really amazing uh, what he does. He'll give you some of the things that he does, but uh, he's going to be doing a. Uh, I think they did a video, uh, or they have the. I have the. They have the whole seminar, I believe, on a video from London. I think he's going to offer that to folks at a very, very reasonable price because he does a lot of the stuff that uh, he teaches. He really. He, he really doesn't charge him. In fact, sometimes he doesn't charge at all. But uh, he's incredibly successful, folks. He trades hundreds of contracts at a time, and it's available. You can actually see it. Uh, he'll tell you how to get there and go into the room and see what he does every day. But uh, he's only right about 30 percent of the time. But uh, – They so only rally about 30% of the time, but uh, when he's right, he's he's right really big. So that's it. Anyway, he's one of my best students that I ever had, and uh, he is in the superstar superstar status. Now, Dr. David Paul is a mathematician from uh, South Africa. And he's the one that turned the corner for Tom about four years ago. Tom had been successful as a trader, but the trouble was he hadn't moved into superstar uh, status. And the reason why is because of the mathematics behind trading. You know, he was right about 50 percent of the time and making very, very good money. But what Dr. David Paul told him to do was to press the winners and uh, go after those, Goes after, go after the big wins. And by doing that, he just kept adding and adding and adding. And of course, you know, sometimes the market reverses and stops out. And uh, but when he's right, oh my goodness, he's really right. And uh, the statistics bear him up. I mean, that's basically. Uh, I've seen, you know, I've seen a lot of different people over the years, folks. He's truly one of the one of the great ones. And he's still young. He's just turned 50 on the uh, the 20th of September. So uh, it's going to be fun to have him on. We'll have him on Tuesday, and on Wednesday we're going to have Dr. David Paul. Uh, He's the one that uh, did the mathematics and stuff and some of the psychology that we had at that seminar. But it was very, very successful. And uh, I think you're really going to enjoy that. I, I, the fact is, I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> I, In fact, it was the best uh, seminar I attended and was part of of all the years I've done this. And so I think it'll be fun to listen to what they have to say. They're very, very uh, – uh, nice folks, plus uh, they got some really good information, so I know you're going to like it quite a bit. Uh, when we get back from the uh, break here, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, some of these things that have been happening in the market with these uh, uh, cannabis stocks that people have asked me to uh, check out, which I would do. And there's a few things that I didn't get done from yesterday with uh, Bill Meridian on, which was always a fabulous program. So we got a lot of stuff to cover this morning. Hopefully we'll get it done. And uh, have a fun day. All righty. I think we're just about time for the first break, and then we'll get on with the here we are. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I have to tell you a funny story. I was reminded by, by uh, Rich uh, in Los Angeles. This was about, um, oh, my goodness, this was about 1997, and we were doing a seminar in um, – uh, Las Vegas and the, excuse me in Los Angeles and again uh, the, uh, Bryce was out with his buddies uh, this time what they did was I, I I was on for the full day but we went out on a Thursday night for a dinner with there were 20 people and uh, we had a very nice dinner and uh, we were at uh, what was the name of this? Uh, Del Frisco's steak restaurant and uh, Bryce had had a had a couple of drinks and he said okay he said I'm gonna everybody was commenting about the these dinner knives, and so he bought a uh, he bought a set of dinner knives for everybody at the thing. There were like 20 people, and um, uh, and then he said, and then he said, okay. By the way, he said, if we're not profitable tomorrow, everybody gets their money back. And I said, hmm, well, I've been through this before, so I didn't you know, bother me a little bit. If you do something for free, I guess it's all right. But anyway, it turned out to be a pretty good day because our first trade of the day was. Uh, there's a report coming out for soybeans, and we had a beautiful Gartley pattern, very low risk, and it was a lunar cycle. Everything was lined up, so we bought soybeans, and my goodness, uh, they went up the limit, and that took all the pressure off. So had a lot of stories with that guy over the years. They were all fun. They all turned out okay, but oh, my goodness, what the way that guy lives is just uh, pretty exciting. He's not in very good health right now, though. He's uh, 
pretty much uh, legally blind and doesn't get around much. All right, I've posted the chart here of these uh, cannabis stocks. As you can see here, folks, uh, if you follow the patterns, if you look at the left side of the chart, you'll see the three drive to a bottom, three, three drive to a top pattern forming very nicely. And then after the top was formed, you'll notice the three drives on the, on the downside. That's the one, three, five pattern that we got from Roy Longstreet. So when you see these patterns and ratios, they don't work all the time. But when they do work, you know, they give you a pretty good chance of uh, getting into a, a market without risking uh, very much at all. Now, there's one market that uh, Tom, little Tommy O'Brien talked about, and that is that the crude oil has sensed that there's something big going on in crude oil because we've had over a dollar a barrel rally uh, in this first uh, two hours this morning. So pay attention to that, folks. That might be a prelude of something more coming in. It stopped right at a 61% uh, retracement of those previous lows. So it is, um, the game could be on in the crude oil market. So uh, let's keep an eye on it. And, and also, if we don't get above much above this 55 area, it could easily have made a top in here. But watch it closely, because when you get a thrust like that, many times it'll continue. We've had a question this morning about the natural gas. It's acting very nicely, folks. We had that nice move yesterday. Those of you that were listening here at TFNN, right around that 11 o'clock level, we were looking for a bottom. The bottom came in at 11.20 and immediately rallied $500 and has continued up this morning. So it's well up over $1,000 from that low that we made yesterday. So uh, you would want to be in that, uh, put your stop at break even if you happen to be in that because you don't want it to go to a loss because that money money is now yours, and you don't want to give any of it back. That's for sure. Let's take a look here at one of these uh, markets. This is the, uh, I remember this one very vividly because when it came out, it was the, the cat's meow. And this is the Telray. Uh, You'll notice we had it moved all the way up to $300 a share. And, folks, this was happening right on the air because we made a 38% retracement right there in October, right, just about a year ago today. You'll see that we made a perfect 38% retracement of the high that we made at 300 That came in at 178.79. Then we made the ABCD down, and we've been going down, 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 down. This market is in big trouble. Uh, it's going to have to start all over, but it, the stays of 300 dollars a share are pretty much over. So um, this is uh, what technical analysis can do for you because uh, you don't have to worry about the news that's coming out. And believe me, the news that's coming out these days is uh, a little bit squirrely most of the time. So we want to uh, be aware of what's, uh, what's going on with these things that we see. Okay. Uh, if you'll bear with me here one second, I, uh, I think I'm okay. All right. Um, okay. Now the natural gas has just dropped uh, four bucks. So uh, be careful. That's the first sign that we've had a pretty good correction in here. We shouldn't get in. We shouldn't get below 227. So watch the natural gas very, very closely there. 227. That's going to be. Uh, I would put your stop uh, right about 227. That way you'd protect yourself with about a $300 profit, and see if it's uh, see if it's going to work. And that's one of the things that we're keeping an eye on this morning. The uh, one of the people uh, last night uh, sent me. An email asking me why I was looking for a potential um, uh, rally in bonds. And we've got a little bit of a rally going, but frankly, it, this market's in big trouble too. Uh, we'll take a look at this. This is an hourly chart on the bonds. And I just wanted to point out to you the harmony that's there. If you look at the move between the 9th and the 13th, you'll see that dark black line. Those were exactly equal moves. And you'll notice the second one was at a 382 retracement of a previous high. So now we're trading right about the same level we are right now, 6,100. And we got up to 60, almost to 6,200. We rallied two, two full handles off the bottom. But uh, the market is not acting that good. Folks, the real problem, I believe, lies in the in the credit and the bond market, that's where the problem lies. It's not in the stock market. The stocks have enough problems on their own, but I believe that the the real problem lies in that bond market. It doesn't. Uh, it, it just it just has too many people believing in negative interest rates, and <laughs> that's not a good thing to happen, folks. That's just not uh, something that you want to uh, see. We have one other request, and that is, this is a real interesting one because this is palladium. I don't trade this, but I uh, did bring this up. So you folks can take a look at it today. This is palladium over the last uh, 
uh, seven or eight days, you'll notice the ABCD patterns that are gone up here. We made the 1.618 at the 116.95 level. We've since come down to uh, 116.80, I believe. Uh, we're trading around 116.86 right now. So there's a possibility here that we've had a three drive pattern uh, up here at this palladium. And boy, I wouldn't recommend anybody trade palladium because it, it's okay on your stops, but boy, when you go into the, if you go into a market order and make a market order, the bid and ask on that thing, they'll just take you to the cleaners. They turn you upside down, hold you by your ankles, and shake out all the change, and uh, then they'll give you your fill. But I wouldn't trade it. But the pattern's there. If you got a lot of bucks and you want to, you want to play something crazy, that's the one to play. It's only fifty dollars a point, so you know you don't. They don't hurt you too bad. But when you're right, oh, and when you're right, boy, it pays you big dividends because uh, it goes up like a rocket and down like the rain. So be careful if you're trading that. This is not a recommendation. I'm showing you the pattern because someone asked me to uh, take a look at Palladium, and that's what the first time ever in all these years at TFNN has anyone ever asked me to see Palladium. So that's what we're paying attention to here. Okay, uh, I think that's about it. If you have any questions, folks, it's 877-927-6648, and I'll be happy to answer any questions. When we come back, I want to talk a little bit about the foreign currencies, especially the euro and the U.S. dollar, because we're at a very we're, we're getting very very close here to this U.S. dollar making a major move. And uh, I think I think, and this is my just my guess, uh, it's going to be a big surprise. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. 
Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Okay, we're back, folks. We're going to take a look here at the euro. And as you can see here, over the past five or six days, we've had this uh, really nice ABCD structure going up to that uh, 110.65. We're now down to the 110 level. We're just uh, just broke the 110 at 109.96. The number we're looking at here, the 61% the retracement comes in at uh, 109.85. So sort of keep an eye on that, because if it can hold that, that's a nice little ABC. CD pattern over two days and of course that's a four-hour chart so you can see that it is uh, it's a pretty significant chart and it's also coming in at a 61% retracement of that previous low we made four days ago so that should be really important at 109.85 so far we've been to uh, 109.94 only 10 pips away and usually we get pretty close to those spots uh, you get an idea that we're uh, in that area where it could be very very interesting for sure okay let's Let's move on to the uh, next one we want to cover, which is that U.S. dollar. Uh, the U.S. dollar is going to be a real interesting one here, folks. Give me a second, and we'll get it up here. Take a look at it because here's where the real uh, where the real change could come in the U.S. dollar based on pattern recognition. Again, no fundamentals involved here at all. You can see that dark black line that's there that extends from the low on the 29th of July uh, through the three lows that we had in um, uh, August and September, and another one in October. We've had four major lows right at that line. Uh, that comes in at 97.84. We've bounced a little bit off of that. So anything below 97.50 uh, in that dollar index, that'll mean that the euro is definitely popping above uh, 111, and that would tell us that the U.S. dollar is weakening and the, the euro is strengthening, whether it's related to what's going on with uh, Boris Little Trump Johnson. I'm not sure, but the British pound is still acting extremely well. Remember, on the British pound, that if we take a look at this uh, pound that we've been very bullish on for quite some time, let's just get it up here, you'll be able to see the longer-term daily chart on the British pound. Here is, we'll get this up here so we can see it. There we go. Whoa, hold on just a second here. There we go. And here we are right there. You'll be able to see that's where we are uh, up around that 128 is what we're looking at. We're trading at 126 and change right now. So if they pass this thing with uh, uh, Ireland, I think it'll be a pretty good deal. And if it doesn't, it'll probably roll down. It's still bearish long term, but that's, uh, you know, that's what we're that's what we're watching here. So let's pay uh, pay attention to what we see going on here. And then we will move on to the next one to see what's going on here. Um, okay, here, one second. I got to do something, folks. Uh, fortunately, I have to uh, bear with me here one second, folks. I've got to do a little bit of a uh, order change here. And it's for me. Uh, I'm going to bet. No, no, no. Hold on just a second, folks. Uh, hold this. I'm going to put it. That's it. Okay, uh, that's uh, okay. I got that taken care of. All right. Um, okay, we've definitely we've confirmed that uh, Dr. David Paul will be on the 23rd and uh, on of uh, October. That's uh, Wednesday, and on Tuesday we'll have Tom Hugard on. So that'll be, uh, uh, you know. You know, that's basically what, what we'll be watching here. So pay attention. We'll pay attention to that for sure, just to see what's uh, see what happens. Okay. Um, 
the uh, let's move on here to uh, what else we want. Oh, the euro, <laughs> folks. I don't know if the euro is going to stop at 109.85 or not. All I know is it's an ABCD pattern at a 61% retracement there, and that's all I really know for sure. Now, uh, the the gold market. You remember the gold? We we had that. We talked about the importance of that low in the uh, gold market. Well, it it held. It rallied up to that 1503 level, and it's given twenty dollars or thirteen dollars of it back all already that's not a very good sign so let's pay uh, let's pay attention to that as we're as we're watching some of these things it's very very important and then we'll be looking at that um, okay uh, uh, hold on one second here I'm just getting and being bombarded by little uh, messages from people and that makes it a little bit concerning but we'll just finish one thing at a time here okay uh, oh, I'm getting off off the pace here just a second here uh, regarding the stock market, we've had some pretty good ups and downs here. Got gone nowhere since uh, the big move that we had down on Friday. We gave, we came back and made about 78 percent of that move back up at that 18, uh, excuse me, 29.82.85 level in the S&P. Uh, if we get above that, you know, we could be looking at another move to 29.95. But the overall stock market, if you look at the just the overall patterns of these things, they don't look very good in the Fang stocks look absolutely horrible, folks. Uh, the Fang stocks do not look good. Uh, that's all I can say. That uh, <laughs> they just don't look that good at all. So let's uh, keep an eye on that. It's going to be very, very interesting for sure. If you have any questions, it's eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Dunet uh, Maria saying with the deal of the century now in phase one and the Fed putting on more juice, the X. The S&P is still below 3,000. What does the market need? I wish I knew, Maria. And if you figure out that answer, you know, let me know. But uh, I have to be a little skeptical. I'm just looking at charts. And all I can tell you is the patterns that we're seeing are very similar to what we had in 2004 and 2000. Here's the one in 2000. I'm going to bring it to your attention again. Remember, these are long-term charts. And uh, a lot of times these patterns fail. That's 2000. Let's take a look at 2007. This was when Bernanke, if you remember, he came out in October and said everything was uh, everything was copacetic, and uh, of course uh, it led to the biggest uh, housing collapse that we've had in uh, many many years that many people still have not gotten over. It's uh, it's very very important to remember. It takes a long time to get over some of these errors that we have when we when we're seeing these uh, as we go through. So let's uh, let's keep in mind that uh, these markets don't go straight up and they don't go straight down unless it's uh, something like cannabis or Bitcoin, stuff like that. But shucks, folks, that doesn't happen all the time. That only happens part of the time. So we need to pay a little bit of attention to that as we uh, as we go through and look at some of these things here, some here this morning. OK. Um, Let's move on to the next one that we wanted to talk about, and that was back into the to the. Uh, hold on a second. Oh, we got a we got a break coming up here. But before we get to the break, I wanted to cover uh, the this Japanese yen because it's uh, it's at a really really interesting spot here, folks. Whew. Hold on a minute. In the yen, let's get this up here. You'll be able to see it here. We're almost ready to pop through to the upside on the yen, so we'll be able to uh, to look at it uh, when it gets above this uh, with this 110.40 level. If we if we get to that level, all of this is related to that euro and the pound and the dollar, because I believe there's going to be a big move in that dollar one way or the other. It'll be related to the euro and the British pound, is my guess. That's what I'm looking for. So let's uh, let's see if that works out, and we'll uh, we'll go from there. Let's hopefully that's what we'll be looking at, folks. And I'll be back with you right after this break. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. 
The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in a Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, folks, we're back, and uh, we got the market rallying strongly again, back testing those old highs from last night, not too far away. Uh, we've got the uh, natural gas still holding up. We need to put a stop in at 227 if you're in that one. We just completed a Gartley in bonds, folks. Uh, those of you that like Gartley patterns is to uh, pay attention to that because that's a real interesting one. That could be one that would be really, uh, would really be uh, interesting for a uh, uh, possibility of a uh, really nice move if it does uh, get back up. We need to hold that uh, 160.25, of course. That was a D leg of the ABCD leg. The notes are actually up a, a, a pip, but the rest of them are a little bit, uh, little bit under the weather. So we need to pay a little bit close attention uh, to that as we uh, keep an eye on this thing. So uh, we'll be watching now. We sold a little bit where the crude oil went up to 53.70. Uh, We've now backed off 70 pips. Uh, pay close attention to that. That, folks, because it had a heck of a run, you know, and we're back down. We're almost at the 61% retracement now. And below that, then you're going to be looking at something, you know, very, very sinister to the downside. So pay, uh, don't let, don't uh, drop your guard on that one. That could be a very interesting one, you know, to watch also. Uh, one of the questions that happened during the break here was about the uh, Canadian dollar. I'll get this up here to take a look at it, and uh, we'll be able to see it here. There it is right here. This is another one that's getting down near a really interesting spot here. This is another reason why we'll be able to uh, take a look at this Canadian dollar if we get down into this level here. Oh, just a minute here, folks. I'm having a little difficult time with the – there we go. You see uh, – 
It stayed at that 61 percent level for uh, well over uh, three months, all during August, September, and October. Then we've had to move down. 3131 is some pretty strong support here. So I really believe the uh, we'll be able to think. Well, uh, Mr. Z, I agree with that. That 16027 is pretty good. At that spot, you don't have to risk more than about eight pips, which is around 240 bucks in a contract that's well over 100,000. So, and the way it bounced off there was a good sign. So, whether it holds that level or not, you know, remains to be seen, but uh let's neither here nor there. We'll keep it uh keep our eyes on it for sure. That's one of the the main things that we want to be uh, looking at this morning. I think it's one of the key ones. The, the, actually, that the easiest trade today, that's a pretty easy one at the uh, 27 level. The the, uh, the 23 is the exact 618 retracement on the bond, so you'd want your stop a little bit below that. But the one that looks the really the really interesting to me is that uh, Austra, uh, the euro, because of that uh, 109.85 level. Uh, it's got a perfect ABCD on that four-hour chart, and it's an easy one to trade. Uh, you trade it almost every day because it does something harmonious just about every day uh, you know we can always look at it two or three hundred dollars that's uh, the main thing uh, to pay attention to oh one other thing on the crude oil folks uh, watch the uh, time frame of 11 uh, excuse me 10 30 10 30 is a very very critical time frame for the uh, Crude oil, and I think it uh, might have a uh, might have a move at that spot, you know, based on, you know, some of the cycle stuff that we uh, that we take a look at. So, that's uh, neither here nor there. So we'll watch it here this morning, just like all the other stuff. Uh, Marie asked a question about the earnings, folks. I never follow that that earnings stuff. I never have. I, I'm really a. I just look at the bar charts. If they either go up or down, and uh, if there's more buying, uh, it's going up. If more selling, it's going down. That's pretty. Pretty much, you know what you're what you're looking for. You don't really need a, a you know a whole lot more than that. That's the way it looks like. Let's get back to that gold, folks, because this is the one that I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about this morning. Here, there we'll see here. All righty. Okay, uh, uh, Mr. Marshall, the answer to your question, the answer is no. Hold on here, Meckett's here. You'll see here. Uh, we had a beautiful Gartley down here uh, on the uh, the 11th, right at the 1478 level, A, B, C, D, 786 to the tick. We rallied last night. We got up to the 7-8% retracement of the high on the 11th, much like we expected. We rallied up to uh, just about 1503, 1502 and change. And then we're now we're coming down. We're down to the uh, 14 uh, in the 1480s now, and uh, we better hold 1484, or uh, this market's going to complete another ABCD down quite lower. It's beginning to look, folks, like that high that was made back on uh, at 1516, 1565, uh, back there in uh, September the third. It looks like that's going to be a major high in the in the current in the metals. But any move above 1530, and it doesn't take much to get it above 1530 for sure, that would change the whole scenario of that market. But right now, it looks like it's uh, still in it is still in a down move. So we'll see what's. Uh, going on. So Jimmy D saying a currency trader now. <laughs> okay, get your master's degree, Jimmy, you need it. <laughs> but the currencies are fun to trade because, uh, you know, it's a world market and there's, uh, you know, if you trade the big six, you know, the euro, the pound, the yen, Canadian, and the Swiss and the uh, British pound, you know, you will uh, you know, be in good shape. It follows pretty much. I don't do any of the exotic cross rates like euro, yen, and stuff. I'll, I'll occasionally uh, get asked that question, but, you know, frankly, I got enough on my plate to try to do the things that I'm doing with what I'm watching now. So those are the those are the main things that uh, we're we're seeing here this morning. So that's uh, pretty much it. Nothing much uh, has really happened here uh, since the, the since the show. So oh, the stocks have moved up. We're, we're testing those overnight highs. Now we're up another 10 points here uh, in the uh, in this market. So it's important. Watch 1130 today in stocks, folks. That's the key time of the day. Uh, if there's going to be any action, it'll most probably happen at, at around that time, would be around 1130 would be my guess, if in fact it keeps uh, 
onto the same program that it's uh, dealing with uh, right now as we as we speak here. Okay, uh, we've got the gold. Uh, well, the gold only hit 1489, folks. It's 1485 is the real key level uh, in the gold. It needs to hold that level, but right now it's just sitting there, you know, doing its uh, its usual thing of uh, bouncing around. But uh, gold is fun to trade, too, because you can trade a contract that's worth $150,000 with a $700 stop, and boy, that, that's pretty good. Uh, that's good risk-reward, because it gives you a really, really good bangs for your bucks. That's uh, no question about that. That's a really very, very good one. All right, one other one we want to cover in the currencies, and we've got the the final break coming up for the day, and that is the uh, Australian dollar. Um, this one's starting to look like it's made a major bottom, folks. We've been talking about it for a while. Um, here again, you can see we need to get it above the 68.50 level. It's taken two weeks to only rally two points. That's not a good sign. You notice that the pound came out of here like a rocket. And uh, the, year, uh, the Australian dollar is not doing that, so that's not a sign that a major bottom is formed as of yet. Because usually when a major bottom forms, you get that uh, engine thrust and away it goes. So that's what we're keeping an eye on this morning. So let's watch it, because if we do get that thrust, we want to be uh, try to get on board here to look at it. We've got the, the euro keeps edging down here. We got as low as uh, 109.91. We're looking at 109.85, and then we'll see how it ends tomorrow. But that's, uh, that's, neither, uh, that's neither here nor there of what we're watching. So let's keep uh, watch that one closely. We're going to focus on that one. That, that's such a beautiful pattern. Yeah, oh, Jesus. I don't I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed. And I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers 
members of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, someone's asking me to take a look at Bitcoin, and by golly, this is one of the few times I don't have a Bitcoin chart. But as I recall, it's got a lot of support at 8,100. I don't know where it's trading right now. I don't trade it at all, but uh, the last time I checked on it, it was around 8,100. That's... Uh, you know, that's uh, neither here nor there, but that's that's all I see. I hope that helps. But uh, I think anything below 7,700 would not be very good for Bitcoin. That's been those last lows. But it's not uh, the volatility has really dried up in Bitcoin for some reason. I don't know if it's because cryptocurrencies have taken a backseat to uh, blockchains or not. I'm not sure. So that's what we're uh, paying attention to. Um, I did want to mention uh, one other thing, and that is the uh, platinum. Uh, platinum is is really trying to make a uh, some major support here, folks. Get this up here so we can take a quick look at it. You'll notice here that uh, it has a beautiful one three five pattern. Each of those ratios lines up nicely, and uh, we've had a. The problem is we've gone five days and have gone nowhere. The last time that happened, you'll see back on the 16th to the 23rd of September, that led to a big move to the downside. So any move below 880 in the platinum would not be very good, and that would be telling us it would be heading down about another fifty dollars uh, an ounce uh, from that level. So we'll see uh, see how it ends up, but that's what we're watching. Well, we're getting, the end of the show's coming up now, so uh, we'll be uh, back in tomorrow, I guess, folks, and uh, we'll uh, have some other interesting things. I'm going to do some things with commodities tomorrow because we don't get a chance to do it, but it'd really helpful if you guys would uh, give me some ideas of what you'd like to cover because uh, it's not easy doing an hour a day because it takes me an hour to get ready and an hour to do it. So that's what we're watching here, folks. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. <laughs>